Hi, welcome back. Welcome back to Escape Forever Free. We are at day four of our week together. We thank you for sticking out with us. This is our one hour alone time kickstart devotional guide. Of course, you know here at Escape Forever Free, we are working together to restore physical, mental, spiritual, and social wholeness. So we do invite that you look through the rest of the channel and see if whatever else we provide in addition to this one hour alone time kickstart devotional guide can be of any help to you in this journey to restore physical, mental, spiritual, and social wholeness. So of course, this is our one hour alone time kickstart devotional guide. So we're going to go into our regular routine. Of course, you know, the aim is to help us to build the healthy habit of spending at least one hour with God every single day. So you're going to choose your best sacrificial time for the day or for the week ahead and you turn up at that time, you watch this video with us, um, go through these readings with us, and at the end of it, you continue for one hour, you and God alone. So it's just a push start into that direction. So if we don't have any such program yet, I'm inviting you to prayerfully consider to subscribe to our channel and stay with us for support as we work towards restoring our physical, mental, spiritual, and social wholeness. So we're going to now pray and go into our routine again. Welcome and welcome back. Let us pray. Righteous Father, thank you so much for the opportunity of the gift of life. With life, we have the opportunity to plead for our souls and the souls of others so that our sins will be forgiven us entirely, will be washed clean, will be clothed with the righteousness of Jesus Christ, and we can receive eternal life. I beg, may all of us who so desire in our hearts genuinely and are willing to put ourselves surrendered before you as your Holy Spirit guides us, may we all receive eternal life. Teach us how to live obediently with you now, today, one day at a time. And I pray, Father, that you help us to teach others to do the same, not so much with our Bible studies, and our admonitions, but most above all, with the examples that we set in the lives that we live. Have mercy upon us, and may we be truly the word made flesh upon this earth. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, so we're going to go into our memory text. Each week, of course, you know by now that we commit a text to memory. This week's memory text is coming to us from Hebrews 8, verses 1 and two and it says now of the things which we have spoken this is the sum we have such an high priest who is set on the right hand of the throne of the majesty in the heavens a minister of the sanctuary and of the true tabernacle which the lord pitched and not man again Romans 8 verses 1 and 2. Now of the things which we have spoken, this is the sum. We have such an high priest who is set on high, who is set on the right hand of the throne of the majesty which is in have in the heavens. A minister of the sanctuary and of the true tabernacle, which the Lord pitched, and not man. Well, we have, this is our last day to practice. Tomorrow we must recite this text, and we pray God will help us to be able to recall it, to bring glory to his name, then as well as in other due seasons that will come ahead of tomorrow. All right, so let's go to page 485.3 of chapter 28 of The Great Controversy. Chapter 28, entitled The Investigative Judgment. Let us read. In the typical service, the high priest, having done the atonement for Israel, came forth and blessed the congregation. So Christ, at the close of his work as mediator, will appear. Let us turn our Bibles to Hebrews 9 verse 28 to read about this. Hebrews 9 and verse 28. Let's read about this. So Christ was once offered to bear the sins of many, and unto him 
them that look for him shall he appear the second time without sin unto salvation. All right, back to the pages. To bless his waiting people with eternal life. As the priest in removing the sins from the sanctuary confessed them upon the head of the scapegoat, so too Christ will place all these sins upon Satan, the originator and instigator of sin. The scapegoat bearing the sins of Israel was sent away, as it says in Leviticus 16 verse 22. Let's read what it says. Turn your Bibles. King James Version of the Bible to Leviticus 16 and verse 22. It says, And the goat shall bear upon him all their iniquities unto a land not inhabited, and he shall let go the goat in the wilderness. So, back to the pages of the controversy. So Satan, bearing the guilt of all the sins which he has caused God's people to commit, will be for a thousand years confined to the earth, which will then be desolate without inhabitant, and he will at last suffer the full penalty of sin in the fires that shall destroy all the wicked. Thus the great plan of redemption will reach its accomplishment in the final eradication of sin and the deliverance of all who have been willing to renounce evil. So here this is commenting to say that the 1000 year reign in which those that are saved will go in heaven to do the, for the second part of the investigative judgment of the wicked that is then at that time the wicked would have been slain and Satan in that time will experience his bounding where he will be on an inhabited earth with no one but himself and no one to tempt. All right, so we're going to stop here for today. When we come back um, at our next reading, we will continue in this chapter. Now let's go to our meditation on him, 598. Um, watch ye saints, we will do stanza three. Kingdoms at their base are crumbling. Hark, the chariot wheels are rumbling. Tell, O oh, tell of grace abounding. While the seventh trump is sounding. Lo, he comes. Lo, Jesus comes. Lo, he comes, he comes, all glorious. Jesus comes to reign victorious. Lo, he comes. Yes, Jesus comes. Let us be watching and waiting so that when he comes, we will be ready to join him. Let us pray. Holy Father, we thank you so much that you are preparing to receive us to yourself. We beg, Father, that while the investigative, investigative judgment carries on, we will not be like business as usual, but we'll truly keep our lamps trim and burning, which means that we will spend time with you and in your word to know what is your will towards us. And we will continuously beg for your mercy and forgiveness and also render it to our fellow men. And that, Father, we will put away transgression and we will live according to every word that is written, not making deals with your laws and your precepts, your judgments and your statutes, but being fully surrendered, following obediently to truly demonstrate that we love you. Keep us, Father, in that state of love, not only when we study the word, but also when we interact with our fellow men. May love truly be the flag that flows in our hearts that they see mounted as our Christian symbol. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. So let the words of our mouths and the meditation of our hearts be now and always acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. We pray that you continue now for one hour faithfully, you and God alone, and we will see you in our next video. Please stick to the Bible, our blueprint that leads us into eternal life and keep us at the foot of the cross surrendered 
and truly demonstrating our love for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. God bless you and we'll meet again in our next video, God's willing.